So the age old question of what is the meaning of life has puzzled philosophers, theorists and everyday people alike for centuries. It is a question that seems to have no one size fits all answer as the meaning of life is a deeply personal and subjective concept. Now with my YouTube recommendation populating with this prototype but very sophisticated chat box AI called chat GPT, I figure why not ask it the age old question before I turn into John Connor from the Terminator and become part of the resistance. <laughs> okay, jokes aside, here's the response once I typed in the question. And I'm just going to paraphrase a little bit. The meaning of life is a philosophical question that has been debated by scholars, theologians, and thinkers for centuries. It is a question that may never be fully answered as it's ultimately a matter of personal belief, interpretation, and some people believe the meaning of life is to seek happiness, achieve personal fulfillment, or to help others. Blah, blah, blah. The ultimate meaning of life is a deeply personal, subjective concept. Anyways, I'm going to leave this up here for a little bit. But while I do, in my opinion, this is a pretty generic response. And you may agree or disagree agree with that but before you say the title was clickbait and what is so disturbing about this okay hear me out and maybe it is a little clickbait but there's a message behind this as sophisticated as chat gpt is it will get more events let's hope it doesn't get too sophisticated and rule over us <laughs> okay my thing is this those who put their complete faith in ai and refuse to rely on any form of critical thinking are more of a concern than this thing don't get me wrong this was kind of fun to play with and intriguing but in the wrong hands, this can lead to a lack of individual curiosity and development. I could definitely see a high school teacher or professor having trouble to discern if a student wrote the essay or AI. In the same token, I also see a sales manager saving more time and being more productive by asking AI to write a sales script given certain criteria. This will set a foundation to it. He or she may not use chat GPT sales script word for word, but the time saving aspect is undeniable and the sales manager can tweak it as he or she sees fit. Now what's my reaction and or response to the age old question? <laughs> okay, take it as you will and hear me out as I will include scripture and some perspective with this. We were not born to just pay bills and die. We were all born with purpose, on purpose, for purpose. God blessed each and every one of us with a gift. James chapter 1 verse 17. Our gift is something that we do best with the least amount of effort. Some may know who they are and what their gift is, and some may not. If you don't know, it's okay because it took a while for me to figure out mine. Now what screws us up most in life is the picture in our head of how it's supposed to be. Trust in the Lord and lean not into your own understanding. And that's in Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5. He doesn't bless us with talents or skills so that we can get notice or earn lots of cash. Well yeah, that could be the result of it, but it's also much bigger than that. For instance, let's say you have extra cash and a homeless person asks for a few bucks. On the surface, it looks like you're giving them money for food. But in God's eyes, whoever is kind to the poor lends to the Lord and he will reward them for what they have done. And that's in Proverbs chapter 19, verse 17. Only do it if it doesn't take food off your table. God blessed us with our gift to be a blessing to others and to expand his kingdom. Whether you are a talented cook, which in my opinion, I believe good food and wine brings people together or drinks or adult beverages, whatever you want to call it. A good mechanic, you're good with numbers, singer, writer, natural businessman or woman spiritually gifted and whatever else I'm missing all those are in some way shape or form a blessing to others as each of us has received a gift use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's very grace whatever your gift is don't deny it or be afraid to use it someone and or many may benefit from it denying your gift is like going against life the very breath that God breathed in us and that's in Genesis chapter 2 verse 7 now how does our gift expand the kingdom of God he made us different and by being different all of us make up the kingdom of God by putting our gift to use and giving him the glory since he blessed us with our gift helps expand the kingdom of God in ways that I and we cannot even touch on as easy as it may sound life is not meant to be easy Jesus said so himself in this world you will have tribulation but take heart i have overcome the world and that's in john chapter 16 verse 33 keep your faith and put god first whatever you do work heartedly as for the lord and not for men knowing that from the lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward you are serving the lord christ and that's in colossians chapter 3 verse 23 through 24. God also blesses those who expand on their talents. New goals give life more meaning and purpose, not to mention a blessing to someone else. Love the Lord and love others as we love ourselves. 
Matthew chapter 22, verse 37 through 40. When we use our gifts to honor him and bless others, that gives our life meaning. What do you guys think the meaning of life is? Comment below, let me know. I hope you enjoyed the message with this video and don't forget to like and subscribe if you found value in this content. I'm also an author of four books, link in description. Thank you again for watching. Until next time.